Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. Yep, we're still lapping, but I think we're done. I think we've come to the end. That will, I think, do us. It's not polished, even though it looks polished, it's it's uh, scratched, but very finely scratched. Just enough so the oil can get in the scratches. But it's going to polish off anyway, with the valves running across the top of it with a bit of oil. Very nice. Now, we've got this right. We're just going to squirt a bit of oil on here, onto the valve. The valve should stick like so. And that means we've uh, got the face done to the uh, desired amount. Right, so I've just got a bit of, bit of thinners on a rag. Wipe down all the edges. So what I've got to do is I've got to tape the bits where I don't want the paint, which is where the covers go and where the valve chest goes. There we are, so that bit needs painting. So just like last time, we're going to uh, put a bit of uh, heat proof paint on. Uh, you can notice there that I've already done the uh, covers and I've already actually done part of the cylinder but you've, I've already shown you the spraying in the last video so there's no point me showing you again. Right, now that it's touched dry we can uh, peel off the paint. Well, in fact touched dry, this has been drying for 24 hours. It's actually the next day. So I'll peel those bits off first. And then put some bolts in. Heat proof paint isn't necessarily great until it's baked. It has to get hot and then it's effective. And if I was to rub this surface where the paint is too much, it would come off because it needs to bake. It's, it's kind of like powder coating in a way, but 
from a, a spray can. See where some oils come out of these holes. That'll be a nice smell in the kitchen. And the tape still on there. And take these end bits off. Need a lovely little uh, circle. And you get a lovely, lovely circle. Right, so now we're going to put these in the oven. Gas mark four for around an hour and a half. The oven is cold to start with. We put these in and let them build up heat naturally. We don't want to thermally shock these and the heat proof paint doesn't like being thrown into a high temperature very quickly. So I'll put them in the oven cold and let the heat build up naturally. Like I say, gas mark three, gas mark four, somewhere around there. We'll get you to the desired temperature and what cylinders we'll get to. So the moment you've all been waiting for has finally arrived. We finally bolted the cylinders to the locomotive. Whether they're going to stay there is a different matter. But for this video, they are on. And I think they look absolutely splendid. It seems to have taken a very long time for us to get to this stage with them on the locomotive. And it's good to see them on. It now looks like a set of locomotive frames. It gives you that kind of buzz and boost to crack on and move forward now seeing it like this i think it looks incredible i do have the other cylinder on as you saw in the clips of me putting them on i've put some duck oil inside the cylinder and inside the valve chest to stop any corrosion happening whatsoever because 
as we know it is a bit damp in here the covers haven't been put on properly because i've run out of washers so i need to get some of them and i've not put the gaskets on i want to get all the other bits and pieces done before i put the gaskets in make sure everything moves as it should do before we get that far so the next thing we've got to do is get the motion done and the valve gear 